Welcome to the Comic Web, everyone. My name is Ty, and I'm here to talk about probably my favorite, most anticipated book from Secret Wars, and that is The Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows. Uh, I just, I just, I'm so happy that this thing exists because it gives me a little bit of hope in the future of Spider-Man writing. So, I got the little TV screen with The Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows back there. I'm, I'm freaking ready for this. So, let's start out with the cover. Uh, I got the Scotty Young variant because I, I couldn't pass it up. I didn't get the regular cover. Um, this, you know, this is a tie-in. I don't care too much. Uh, getting and I just I love Scotty Young and this I mean this cover is oh this cover is great um, so freaking cute like the Scotty Young Marvel stuff is amazing particularly for me the Spider Man stuff is just unbelievable I really really dig it so um, let me just start by saying that this is the best Spider Man's been written the Amazing Spider Man has been written in last few years like seriously i don't count the superior spider-man i'm talking peter parker the amazing spider-man like the last good dance last story the new out of the newest stuff that's come out was spider island i think and after that i don't i think it's just been as far as peter parker writing has been going it just hasn't it hasn't been hit it's all been missed in my opinion you know there were some cool things at ends of the earth and stuff but for a most for the most part it's been pretty pretty disappointing um, especially Volume 3 with the freaking Spider-Verse stuff and all that bullcrap. So this is just such a breath of fresh air, but it's also something so familiar, too. Like, just Spider-Man and Mary Jane being together and them having a kid. You're like, why did one moment in time and one more day and brand new day, why did that all happen? Why did that all have to happen? And this gives me a little bit of hope for maybe, maybe after Secret Wars, maybe Marvel will be really really smart and realize that this is what people want and just pluck Mary Jane bring them together marry them I don't care if they have a kid if I'm being quite honest I think that would be so cool but I don't care if they have a kid just bring them back together or at least bring them back together for dating little rant let's go through the book book starts out with spider-man and Mary Jane and their little kid uh, hold on I was trying to see if I could find out what the kid's name was. I don't remember the kid's names. It's Annie. The kid's name is Annie, which I think is so freaking cute. So they're at the dinner table, and Peter is fixing his web shooters, making sure he doesn't have he doesn't run out of web fluid next time he's taking on his his foes. And he mentions to Mary Jane because she's been like, "Hey, you know what's going on? You've been out a long time. You've been out really, really late lately, like later than normal." He basically is like, "I don't know what's been going on. I've been picking up the slack of like." Iron Fists and Daredevil's people, you know, they're villains, they've been kind of coming over, and it's like, I don't know what the heck's going on. Later, he brings photos, photos of himself to the Daily Bugle, because he still works there in this universe, or in this comic series, whatever, this is, this the secret, this battle world thing, of pictures of him, of Spider-Man fighting other villains. And we find out that, you know, some vigilantes are coming up dead. Uh, Punisher, Moon Knight, you know, Night Thrasher, Daredevil's gone. Like, people are disappearing, and, and some are winding up dead. So Spider-Man goes to the Avengers Tower to find out what the heck's going on, and Captain America is like, you know, many of our friends are no longer with us. Non-powered members of our community have been killed, and we've also lost connection with the X-Men Tower. And Spider-Man's like, whoa, 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 you know, like, what the heck, why am I just hearing this? Iron Man's like, kind of a loner kid, you know, not the easiest to get a hold of. And Spider-Man's kind of mentions that he has a wife and a kid, and that he's not a loner anymore. He's got a family. You know, he's got a freaking family. It's about time. Anyway, well, Spider-Man pins playing. He's got a family, and he's got to freaking protect his family. So Iron Man offers him and his wife and his kid to stay at Avengers Tower while just this thing kind of settles down. He calls Mary J and he's like, yo, you know, I got this opportunity. It might reveal her secret identity, but, you know, it's for the best of the kid. All of a sudden, all the villains from Rikers Island's freaking busted out and freaking Ronan. Right? Ronan? 
Roman. Guardians of the Galaxy, stupid character. Roman's freaking causing havoc in New York. So, uh, Captain America assembles every single Avenger that's available, and everyone, you got freaking, um, Namor, you got freaking, uh, the Avengers, you have the New Warriors, you have Namor, did I say Namor? Probably, I don't remember. But you have all these people, so he's going to fight Roman. And Spider-Man is like, oh god, Riker's Island. Venom was stuck in Riker's Island. This book is so good. And he freaking runs home, or web slings home to try to save his wife. Smashes through the freaking glass to find only that Venom has his wife and his kid held hostage. So immediately Spider-Man cracks him in the face and it, his inner monologue cock kicks in. He's like, I can't freaking hold back. I can feel the bones in my hand shattering with each punch. He freaking sends Mary Jane and Annie to get the heck out of there. Cut to freaking Roman. Uh, he's He's got all these new powers. Kind of like the X-Men powers. He's got telepathy, or he's got, um, yeah, he's got telepathy just like Professor X. And Captain America is just kind of like Captain America. He's like, we don't give up because we're Avengers. And then we cut back to Mary Jane and Annie uh, rushing through, and she's like, Venom's weak to fire and sonic noises. So she freaking grabs a hold of a fire truck. Slot, this is the best you've written Mary Jane in a long time. It, probably ever. So she freaking grabs the fire truck with Annie and goes towards the fire. Spider-Man can't catch Venom, though, because he busts out of the window and starts to follow them. Spider-Man following, sh following uh, Nose Tail behind. We cut back to the, the Avengers fighting Roman, and nothing seems to be working. He's like, oh, you can't send anything that'll freaking come against me, and the Hulk comes after him. Now, in my mind, you know, the Hulk's power is virtually limitless. He can... You know, the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. So he comes up, and I'm like, okay, they got this. Mm -mm. Roman freaking grabs Hulk, and I don't know what exactly he does. He has his arm, and it's separate. So I don't know if he ripped his arm off, or if he absorbed him, or what. I think he ripped his arm off because there seems to be blood dripping, but we don't see a Hulk body, so I'm not sure what the heck's going on, but whatever it is, it's freaking metal. You know, and basically, he, uh, Roman's calling himself Regent? Regent? I don't know how you say that. But he defeated the Hulk. Like, he defeated the Hulk. There's no freaking hope for the Avengers. So we freaking cut to Mary Jane and Annie at this burning building, and... Venom's shortly behind, you know, Venom's following closely behind, so Mary Jane gets in and flips on the siren. She's so freaking awesome in this book. Flips on the siren, <clears throat> excuse me, to shock Venom, to stun him. Meanwhile, Spider-Man comes in with a swift kick to the face and continues to just beat Venom into this burning building, like nonstop. At one point, he's like, I can't bother with the pain, you know, my my fists are just wet wet sacks of meat at this point all the bones in his hand is freaking broken so he's just swinging with everything he's got because that's his freaking wife and his kid this book is so good and you know at one point venom's like oh you know your weakness is this this daughter this annie girl and i'm gonna eat her brains which is su such a throwback to the freaking venom back in the freaking 90s and Spider-Man's all like, no! And then Mary Jane's like, hey, is anyone inside? Fire officers are like, firefighters are like, no. It's all clear why. And she's like, hey, Spider-Man, no one's inside. And Spider-Man's like, I know what I have to do. God help me. He grabs support beams. And Venom's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Spider-Man wouldn't do that. And the building falls and collapses on them. And from what we interpret, he killed Eddie Brock. He killed Venom. And, you know, after that, Peter's walking his older little girl across the street. Older Annie. We see the vulture fly by, someone sort of purse, find out that the Avengers are all disappeared. 
and he said so is Spider-Man. He's given up being Spider-Man because he has a with something bigger than greater power is greater responsibility. <sighs> that was so good. I'm even okay with Spider-Man killing Eddie Brock. I know a lot of people probably don't like that, but this is such this is a situation where if he doesn't, Eddie Brock's going to continue to hunt his wife and his kid. So he really had no choice. Um, this book was amazing. I can't wait to see the uh, the other issues. I think there's two more, and I really hope that Spider-Man keeps the status quo or something very similar. If Dan Slott, if you continue to write Spider-Man after Secret Wars, you better make it on part of this. I don't want to see no freaking Spider-Verse. I don't want to see no freaking Peter's freaking no. I don't. I don't want to see anything stupid. I want to see that. I want to see good writing in my Spider-Man books again. I'm gonna give the Spider-Man book a freaking. 10 out of 10. I might be partially biased, but I really, really love this issue. This is so, so good, and it just makes me look forward to the future of Marvel. So I'm going to cut that here because I'm already at 11 minutes. So that was The Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, Secret Wars tie-in, and yeah, check out my Secret Wars number 3 review, and I'm going to be reviewing Batman 41. That should also be on the channel coming up here soon. So this is Ty. I'm peacing out.